Well, hello. I have the privilege and want to introduce to our school community, Mr. Ryan Sloan. Yep. So, Mr. Sloan, thank you so much for taking some time out of your really busy schedule <laughs> um, to, to talk with me. Listen, so I've heard that you are a really good pitcher and you pitch a really fast <laughs> ball. Yeah. Tell me about that. Like, what does that mean? Oh, yeah. I mean, so, you know, I got a couple of different pitches. Throw my fastball, you know, get up to like 99, you know, so MLB. Like 99. 99. 99 miles an hour. Right. It's crazy, right? That is <laughs> yeah. Crazy. I mean, that will be, you'll see guys, you know, around there too, you know, you see guys getting above 100, but for high school level, you know, you're not usually seeing that a lot. So, Got it. so for a high school level, what would be around the average? Like average, I'd probably say around 80s. Got like, it. yeah, 80s, okay. you know, so. Okay. But, yeah. Wow. It, that is, that is pretty remarkable. So like, how long have you been playing this, the sport? When yeah. did that start? So my dad played at Austin P, which is a D1 school in Tennessee, Knoxville. Okay. He's a catcher. Okay. So ever since, I mean, like if your parent plays a sport, like I, of course they're going to try to have you play that sport. <laughs> that's exactly what happened that's with what happened. us. So okay. we used to have a huge backyard. I used to live on Oswego. So okay. ever since then, it was like we'd be throwing the ball in the backyard or, you know, we'd be hitting in the backyard and then it kind of just flourished into like, you know, now I got a love for the sport, you know, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. it's been super great. Wow. And so I'm sure in addition to um, during the season, um, of course, I'm sure you are fully engaged and involved with practices and, and training. And what about off season times? Like, yeah. are you, is <laughs> off season because, like? you know, it's, it's great that I have two, um, I have a strength coach okay. who helps out a lot. So he gives me a lot of things, whether it's like working out, whether it's like mobility, whether okay. it's cardio, you know, he gives me all that type of stuff. But then I also have a um, pitching coach, Okay. you know, so he'll give me my throwing routine. He'll give me my warm up before I throw, you know, so that's more of the pitching side specifics, you know, and I just, you know, it's nice that they're very connected. So we okay. can kind of intertwine the two things yeah. together. So then it just ebbs and flows great. So I Got think it. that's really good as well. That makes sense. So speaking of like the routines, do you have any kind of routines or specific things that you do like before the game or when you are getting ready to get on the mound? Like yeah. what's the secret? Oh, <laughs> like, I always got to eat something before because I get I'm the type of person that gets hangry. Okay. So like, I need some food in my body before I go out and do something. I I'm do gonna too. Be, like, I'm just going to be losing yeah. a bunch of calories okay. out there. So I'll probably put down like a PB&J. You know, I go home before I go and pitch. So I'll okay. make myself a peanut butter and jelly. And, I'm, you know, my friends will make funny. I bring like just a plastic bag out here and just full of food. Like then after I'm done pitching, I have more food to eat. <laughs> so it's like then I can go do stuff after and not be angry, you know. So, okay. but, you know, I just got like unlimited snacks in my bag. And, okay. and then I got a nice routine before I go out and pitch. I do every, before every yeah. game. And that just helps me get ready and helps me get my mindset to go pitch. Got it. Well, I can get hangry too. The difference though is I'm not burning off the calories probably right. like you, <laughs> like you are. So I'm gonna work on that. Um, and so, in thinking about like it, just it's it seems like it's obviously a really rigorous continuation of training and preparation. Right. Like, how do you balance? How do you balance the um, responsibilities of being such a a, a competitive athlete mm -hmm. as well as within? the academics and, and being a, a student. Yeah, I mean, I think a huge help is that I have a good routine set in place, you know, where I'm kind of doing the same thing every day, you know, it's wake up, go to school, go to the game or whatever, go work out. And that's like, at the end of the day, I have an hour, hour and a half to do whatever I kind of need. If I need to do some homework, okay. I can go do that. If I want to go play some video games, I can go do that. You okay. know, if I need to get some extra sleep, some mobility, you know, it just kind of leaves me with a lot of different paths I can go depending on what I need for that day and then it's kind of just do that and repeat so okay. I think that helps out a lot got it got it and 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 so tell me what has this being a part of the program here the baseball program here at York meant to you and and what do you foresee wanting to leave as a part of like your legacy of course yeah <laughs> I mean you know we've made two really good state runs you know uh, last year we went to state and then the year before that we uh, came up one game short yeah so I definitely think you know just leaving a legacy that like York is like a team not to be messed with almost mm -hmm. like we kind of 
you know, like when they come to York, they know it's going to be a tough game. You know, they're going to have to play their best baseball. So yeah. I think that's a huge thing. And then just, you know, great coaches, you know, Mr. Kalal, you know, great guy, you know. Um, but, you know, it's just been a great experience with everything, you know, the morning practices, going out to breakfast after, you know, just building those bonds that you're going to have for a very long time. So it's been great. Awesome. Awesome. Well, once again, thank you so much for taking this time to share with sure. me and the, our entire community. Um, we are really proud of you and proud of um, our athletic program and all of our student athletes. Um, you represent Elmhurst Community School District 205 well. Thank you. Go Thank Dukes. you for having me. Thank you. <laughs>